What is up, MFers? Welcome back to a super exciting episode. It's exciting because we're doing something totally new today. Got the star of the show, old Milwaukee team member, pro staff, Max. So what we're doing today is we're going out and doing some bank fishing. And what we're gonna be using is pretty damn slick. So this company hit me up uh, a couple weeks ago. They're called Fanatic Lures. Now, Fanatic is a company I had never heard of and they told me to check out their plastics and they were gonna send me some to check out and use. And honestly, when I went and checked them out, I was like, man, these things are, these are different than anything I've ever used before. They're way smaller. They're just not very big lures. But instantly a light bulb went off in my head. I said, these would be perfect for micro fishing and for a really good finesse bite. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about when I'm talking about small. As you saw from the title of this video, we're using some really, really small larvae type baits. That's what they got. Max, let's see what they look like here. Yeah, so we got like these little tiny larvae lures. These are only like 1.6 inches long. This one's called the Dagger. It's uh, really tiny, another 1.6 inch lure. We got some in some different colors, like some chartreuses. You know, I got some like uh, some June bug color. These are a little bit bigger. They're like a little crawdad, two inches long. Anyway, these are like the smallest crawdad lures. This, this one's called the Raider. It's a little crawdad bait. It's the smallest crawdad lure I've literally ever seen in my life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and micro fish with these for a little tiny pan fish uh, and see if they'll eat something like this because the benefit is over a live bait, we can probably catch a hell of a lot more fish on these uh, without having to go back and constantly change bait over and over. Now, they also have some bigger baits. So they got these right here as well. This is the bigger larvae lure, uh, which looks really, really cool. Obviously that mimics a lot of the different natural forage like uh, dragonfly larvae and stuff like that that falls in the lake, which I think will be totally cool. Give bass a different look that they haven't seen before. And you know how much I love my little magic worm this dude right here is like a ringed magic worm. It's called the uh, the Dagger Active. So this is a bigger five inch worm type bait, but it's got a nice fat profile. So what I want you to do, if you wanna see me use these baits for bass, I want you to go hit that thumbs up button. If I get a thousand thumbs up, I'm gonna go fish for bass with these lures. And, and another really, really cool thing is here, they have these, uh, these tungsten and lead. They make them both. They're swing heads. Cool thing is you can actually take out the harness that's inside of the swing head and hook it to whatever hooked bait you have, which is a, an awesome feature. You can just swap out whatever plastic you're using on there without having to cut off or retie or anything. So that's a really, really slick feature. But anyways, I would love to throw those with those larvae baits. So go hit that thumbs up and I will go catch some big old bass on those. Hopefully these look pretty slick. Anyway, Max, you ready to rock and roll? Mm -hmm. Max ready to shake and bake. Let's get to the lake, catch some fish. to the lake seven hours later they uh the road was closed actually to get in here so we're a little later than usual what do you start with max um, a purple purple, let me see it so max is starting with the purple little crawdad larvae god it's tiny it's like a one inch crawdad bait it's the smallest crawdad bait i've ever seen sink super super slow with that hook should be money for these little bluegill i think they'll really like that i'm going to start off with these larvae the 1.6 inch chartreuse larva. Pretty cool looking bait though. It looks just like any type of little natural bug that these little bluegill probably are actually eating down there. Unlike our uh, worms, which you know, there's probably no worms actually in the lake. Let's see if they will eat the larva. All right, there you have it. That is the larva. I can just kind of throw this hook. This is the setup. We got a size 10 hook larva. Of course, the old spinning rod. This is the same one I used to trout fishing last week, but this is the uh, Cast King Para G2 with the Mela 1000. Man, it got windy. The heck? Oh yeah, first one. Come back here, buddy. There he is. First fish to fall victim of the little tiny yellow larva can't believe he even got stuck on the hook is a little green sunfish pretty little guy cool little fish what do you think man 
He liked the chartreuse larva. Huh. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yep. Get him thrown back there. Oh, you're gonna come steal my spot. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> well, I just had another one of these chartreuse larva here. I don't think he's gonna bite again because I just pulled him up out of the water. There he is. These are the smallest fish in North America over here, Max. Finally, he bit like five times before then, but I got this little guy. You gotta enjoy the small things. I don't care how big they are. That dude is still a lot of fun. Another one fell to the old chartreuse larva. Let's get him back. Bye, buddy. All right, so that's obviously doing well. Nice little addition to the micro fishing arsenal. So I'm gonna try this 1.6 inch dagger next. It's like a little tiny straight tail grub type bait. Another really good little pan fish bait. Get him threaded on my little tiny hook here. And we should be good to go. All right, there he is, the dagger. Looks like a perfect little crappie bait like I grew up fishing with. So hopefully it does the trick. God dang it, dude. There's a ton in here. I just keep, they just keep biting the end of it. There it is. What is that? Oh yeah. Look at that. I got a bass, Max. I got a bass. Yeah, I just got a tiny little large mouth. So as you can see, not only for panfish, I actually caught a little baby tiny bass. That's like the smallest bass I've caught this year, dude. Yeah, look how small he is. That's a bass? Yeah, dude. Better that's, put him back in the water. That's about the size of the <laughs> There he goes. All right, caught a bass on it now. So just talk to you guys a little bit about what we're doing right here. If you haven't seen any of our micro fishing videos, me and Max like to come to these jetties, these man-made jetties on our local lakes. And all you gotta do is you just go down, put your little bait right next to any of these rocks and the little crack behind it a lot of times there'll be a little panfish or like you saw there little tiny bass will be there too and yeah it's a little fish but you catch a ton of them it's a lot of fun it's how i got addicted to fishing and max loves to do it too and it's really great for people of all ages i love to catch big bass but i love to catch these little ones like this too but uh yeah drop a little tiny plastic these fanatic plastics like this little guy here uh have been absolutely money i want to switch it up keep switching it up Keep experimenting, see which ones they'll eat. The water is a little bit more stained than it usually is. Definitely a lot of algae in the water and it's a, it's a little bit windy, so it's kind of stirred up a little bit. But we're gonna keep fishing here for about another half hour, 45 minutes. Catch a couple more of these little fish. This is a great, great time. Always get a kid out in the water, get someone out in the water that's never fished before. That's all I got for you guys today. Let's keep catching them. All right, I made the change up to the uh, natural colored crawdad bait. We'll see if that one does the trick. Max is fly fishing over here or something. Whipping it around, huh? There he is. Another one on the old natural crawdad. I think they really like this natural crawdad look a little bit more. This is like a uh, green, this is like a pumpkin maybe with like orange. I don't know, either way, I've had a bite like every drop so far, so I'm really liking this natural color. I thought the, the ones that stuck out a lot more would get more bites, but this dude has been the ticket so far. There's another one looking at it. He's got it, but my hook's too big. <laughs> he was tiny. There we go, there's another one. Another giant on the natural colored crawdad. I think this is called the Raider, actually. But I'm a big fan of this one. I think it comes in a little bit bigger size, like a two inch maybe. Wish it came in a little bit bigger than that for bass. But so far these little dudes love it. Micro fishing at its finest. Little size 10 hook. I almost wish we had some smaller hooks than this guy even because I keep missing these little tiny ones because the hook's a little too big. But it's working. I'm liking it. See where those bubbles are right there? Drop right down there. I want to see you crack this one. Get ready to set the hook though, okay? Well, I Remember what happens when he bites? What happens when he bites? Rip its face off, right? A little bit further. There you go. Let it go. Get him. Oh, he bit. Oh, yeah. A giant. Look at that. That's a slaunch. What do you think? Slaunch? No. No? These are about maybe as long. He's like the same size as Dab. 
Dab's brother. <laughs> oh, look at that. A bass, another one. Dude, that one's way bigger though. Dude, we don't ever catch those. We just use worms and we try to kill them. Don't do that, Mr. Bass. Okay, well, there you have it, folks. I handled it like a moron, but uh, we never catch bass microfishing with little worms. I don't know if it's this crawdad or what, but it has definitely improved our average size here and caught two bass now, which we never catch with these. Do we ever catch bass microfishing? Zero. We haven't caught one yet. This is pretty sick. I like it. There he is. Look how small that one is. I told you, these ones get the big bites, Max. Boom. Last one of the day. You keep catching them. All right, folks, that is it. We are getting out of here, heading home for the night. It's getting dark, cooling down, but we had a really, really good time on the water tonight. Max ended up catching a fish. I didn't get on camera, but he did catch a fish and uh, he had a good time. Always good to take a kid fishing, like I said before. Get them out, do some micro fishing like this. It's super, super easy to catch these fish, yet it's so fun and addictive to do. Max always wants to do this type of fishing whenever we go out. So obviously it's something kids love and anyone new to fishing will love it as well. Now, all we used today were those little larvae and grub and crawdad baits from Fanatic Baits. And like I said, I caught those two bass on it. One was an okay size, a little bass down here in these rock cracks. And that's something we never catch when we use live bait doing this so they're clearly really really good baits for micro fishing i'm going to link them down below so click on that link go check out fanatic baits and like i said hit the thumbs up button if it gets to a thousand thumbs ups in this video i'm going to take some of those other larvae grub style baits and go try to catch some bass on them the little bit bigger ones one other thing i really liked about them is we didn't tear the plastics at all even though they're really tiny baits they're really tough they held up really well caught all those fish on it didn't go through a single plastic besides just changing up the different colors and the types. But durability seems on point with those, so I think one pack will get you through a whole night of fishing like this at least. Anyways, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. For me, for Old Milwaukee Max, we're out of here. Peace.